Out of all the great new features in Cubase 6, this is perhaps my favorite. It's the Audio Tempo Detection Tool. And to show you that I'm not using any smoke and mirrors, I'm just going to start with a brand new Cubase project to show you how to use this new function. I'm going to select New Project, and I'm going to go to the More tab and load an empty template. And then I'm going to go under the File pull-down menu, and I'm going to import an audio file, which happens to be a stereo two-track mixdown from one of my CDs back in 1989, and it was not recorded to a click track. So whenever I needed to do that before, I'd have to make a tap tempo track, and then take that MIDI track and assign it to the tempo track itself, and have the tempo adjust, and it was doable, except that it would take a lot of time to do. So now I'm going going to bring in this audio file, track number six here. So right now, this particular audio file has no correlation with the tempo of Cubase. And to prove that to you, I'm going to press play. I'm going to turn this down a little bit, though. I'm going to press play, and you're going to hear the audio track, and you're going to hear the tempo of Cubase depicted by the click track. And they're going to instantly be set apart from one another. There's no correlation. Let's take a listen. Okay, see how out of time they are from one another? But now what I can do is I can take that segment of audio and under the project pull-down menu, select Tempo Detection. That will call up the Tempo Detection control panel, and I'm just going to hit Analyze. And what Cubase is going to do is it's going to look at the hit points of that audio file and convert them to a tempo track, which Cubase will then follow. So now that's done, you'll notice that I now have a tempo track that was automatically added for me, and now let's see if we're in time or not. If I zoom in here a little bit, you'll see that the tempo track has hit points on every single beat. And now Cubase and this audio file are locked in time with one another, and it happened in just a matter of seconds. But you may have noticed that the first tempo is a 1-4 bar, and that's because it's going to try and analyze any sort of pickup measure that you have in there, and so now it's just a matter of putting in the proper tempo at measure number 2. So I'm going to grab my pencil tool, and on measure number 2, I'm going to enter my 4-4 four, four time signature. So 4-4, four, four, enter. And now, let's see what happens to the click track. And when I zoom out, you'll see that it went through the entire audio file and analyzed the tempo throughout the entire track. Now that's going to make it a lot easier on me if I go in and want to put MIDI tracks, like brass sections that I always wanted this song to have and we didn't have the budget to do it in the studio. Now I can add all those through MIDI and they'll all be locked in tempo to the original audio track. So as you can see, the Tempo Detection Tool is a really powerful function whenever you're doing remixes.